All right, you guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, you've got myself, you've got Lolly, and in this video, we're right smack dab in the middle of an overnight backpacking trip to Fault Lake here in the North Idaho Selkirk Mountains. It's been an absolutely beautiful day, beautiful trip, and I hope you guys all enjoy this video. We're gonna start you back down at the trailhead for Fault Lake. And if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. A little slick, huh? Oh gosh. We're professionals. It is a smoky, dark orange sun today, dude. Good girl. Good girl. Two and a quarter miles in and we're already so hungry and we're thirsty. I can tell. Let's get you some water here, okay? Yes. Okay. There were like hornets buzzing all around Lolly. And I'm sure they were buzzing around me too. So we just walked up like 50 more feet and I can still hear them and I can see them. So, wish us luck. A little Justin's maple almond butter. A little trail snack. I always keep one in my pocket, just in case. Pretty neat little area, nice little creek crossing, uh, place to cool off, place for the dogs to cool off, get some water. We're right under three and a half miles as we sit right now. You guys, so this is what we're looking at. So I just talked to a couple backpackers who are hiking out of Fault Lake for the day. And they said that up at the lake or near it, there are gigantic huckleberries. And there is an older gentleman who is up there just picking berries. But otherwise, I think we're gonna have the lake to ourselves. Girl, we're almost there. Good girl.
made it Fault Lake. That last mile was kind of a butt kicker, but uh, we're sitting right around, I think, 11.30 right now. 11.11 actually, make a wish. And I wish to give had a good campsite and drop this pack. And that's what we're gonna go do. I've got a little campsite uh, right behind where we currently are at. And let's bring the camera back there. And let's head back there, drop our stuff, maybe get a little bit of camp set up and eat a snack. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. This looks like a pretty sweet place to call home for the night. Come on, Lil. So we're sitting right at four o'clock in the afternoon here up at Fault Lake. Uh, it's been probably a good few hours since I've actually filmed, but we have just been taking it easy. We basically got camp set up, which I think I've shown you guys in a couple of shots. And then we've just kind of got the lake and the mountain backdrop just kind of behind us. But it is hot. I think back at home today it was actually supposed to push right up around the upper 90s, hundreds. Um, so up here, it's it's probably right around 90 degrees, and it's been pretty grueling. So we've just kind of been hunkering down, uh, sitting in shade uh, as much as we can find. We're pretty exposed out here, um, but I think this is the best campsite here at Fault Lake that we were able to get. But I believe we're the only ones here for the night, so it should be pretty good. I think we're just going to go uh, back to the lake and actually go see if we can find some uh, elusive mountain bass. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of those, but they're pretty rare uh, species of fish that exist uh, in just a few of these North Idaho mountain lakes. And from what I've researched and from what I know, um, they don't really exist anywhere else. So I thought I'd just put my camera down, see if we can actually see them jump. So we'll do that. Come on, dude. It's time for some chow. Chow, wow, wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, chow, wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Mm -hmm. A little bit of dried beef lung. You tell me. You tell me when to stop, all right? You tell me when to stop. Ooh. Don't mind if she does. <laughs> she is drooling so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what's on the menu for tonight. Tonight we're eating the Bechamel, <laughs> Bechamel, Bechamel style. Hold on, Bechamel style mac and cheese by right on track. I don't know how to pronounce it. What does that even mean? Um, okay, so not a sponsored video, but in the past, right on track uh, has sent me a few meals and they are all real good. And when they emailed me um, to try to set up um, something so they could send me some food, they mentioned that their mac and cheese like was rated the top mac and cheese in Backpacker Magazine or something. And at the time I was going through a little gluten-free stent and so I didn't actually order this, but now I ordered it. Or I didn't even order it, I just bought it at the store here in North Idaho. But we're trying it because we wanna see, is this the best mac and cheese? I don't know, 
the Bacamel, the Bacamel style mac and cheese. I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, guys, so the mac and cheese is done. And I'll tell you what, it's really, really good. Uh, definitely check this out, but I just filmed a full cook and review video. It was kind of a fiasco. <laughs> Enough said. Uh, but if you guys want to check that video out, I will link it up here, up here. Uh, for you guys to check out and it was kind of fun to make um, but it'll kind of go through everything my thoughts but I will say very very good so check it out So big shout out to Len from the YouTube channel Hiking with Gus. After our enchantment trip last August, I believe it was, he uh, made this for all of us on the last night and we all really enjoyed it. And so after the trip, he sent to myself and I believe he sent one to Bryce Newbolt as well. He sent both of us one of these in the mail. I'm finally getting around to eating it. This is my first trip of the year. But this is the Chocolate Mud Slide by Alpine Air and it's kind of like eating brownie batter good stuff but Len hopefully we can get out on a trip this year hoping so all right so it's a little after 9 p.m. completely dark out right now and it is time to go to bed so this uh, this is the first overnight trip that I've ever done with Lolly and wasn't quite sure which tent to take, and so I thought I'd try just for a single overnight to try my one-person tent. I still feel like it might just be a little bit small. It's kind of hard. I'm using my, my headlamp for a light in here, but to kind of give you an idea, we just don't... We just don't have a ton of room, and if it were dumping rain right now, I know the inside of the tent would just get completely soaked. So I think from here on, uh, we'll probably stick to the Nemo Hornet two-person, but this was kind of just a test run. But anyways, it's been a great day here at Fault Lake, uh, hoping to get some good sleep tonight, and we will wake up in the morning and pack out of here. Thank you, Lolly. That's a good shot. Well, you guys, last night was rough. And any dog owners who take their pups backpacking, I think I need some advice. Yeah, so last night it started out pretty okay, pretty good. But within 30 minutes or so, we heard something, an animal or, or whatnot, just some branches break. Nothing out of the ordinary, but for this one, with it being her first backpacking trip, she got pretty startled, and basically the rest of the night, any noise just jazzed her up, and she was full-on diving, peeking under the, the tent, trying to see out, trying to make sure everything's okay, which to a point I do appreciate, but also to a point, I, I don't know. Like if, it, if there's bear out there, that'd be awesome. But I know, I'm pretty sure they were mountain goats. We just heard some some animals trotting, but I don't know. But she uh, she kept me up pretty much all night. I maybe slept an hour. <laughs> so that's kind of how we're how we're feeling this morning. Not super motivated. Really don't want to pack up camp and hike out of here. I just want to kind of 
lay down and go to bed, but that's okay. So if anyone has any dog backpacking advice on, on how they manage their dog in the tent, uh, it would be much appreciated. got so much smokier this morning. Hoping it'll just lift once it gets warmer out. So coffee's hitting the spot. Only thing we have left to do this morning is maybe eat a little bit of breakfast. I brought some oatmeal, but I might just kind of snack and, and get that out of the way so I don't have to actually cook and clean. But we've got to filter some water and then we've just got to pack camp up and we'll be out of here. So um, it should be a pretty easy hike down. However, I was talking to Tessa last night on my little Garmin inReach, and she's like, pick me huckleberries, pick me huckleberries. So we might stop and do a little huckleberry picking. So get her a cup or something. We'll see how I'm feeling. See how nice I'm feeling. See how generous I'm feeling. So while my water finishes filtering, I wanted to show you guys this. You can kind of see this pass kind of right back here. At least kind of what it looks like. It's hard to see maybe from right where I'm at. But if you guys have been following the channel for any period of time, you'd remember about two years ago, Tess and I, we hiked into a mountain lake up here in the Selkirks known as Hunt Lake. And actually, if you follow that little draw up, then you'll actually find another little draw and a pass to where you can kind of crest up into it and look down over Hunt Lake. So it's right on the other side essentially of that ridge line. It's kind of cool. Hey, Lolly. Hey, uh-uh, off. Lolly off. <laughs> Lolly off. Come on. Let's go. Uh-uh. Up, up. Let's go. Good girl. Pretty even, yeah. We pretty even, huh? You ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> and that is a full mini Nalgene about 18 ounces of berries. We picked those in about a half an hour. Like the huckleberries here in North Idaho this year have been amazing. It's like the best year in recent history that I can remember, but they're just, they're huge. They're, some of them are probably at least dime to nickel sized and it makes filling up containers super fast. So got Tessa her huckleberries. I might actually pick some more for myself um, and then we'll be back on the trail. All right, you guys, so we're about a quarter mile out from the lake or so, and we're getting ready to put this overnight backpacking trip to Fault Lake to an end. Uh, overall, we smoked it coming downhill. It just took us a couple hours, and then that was with uh, huckleberry picking, and so we actually made pretty good time. And one thing I actually like about this trail was that it's pretty gradual. Other than the last mile or so close to the lake, it's a very gradual trail. Uh, not really steep uphill, not very steep downhill, and so it's really easy on the knees, and I really enjoyed it in that aspect. But overall, Fault Lake, really pretty lake, super scenic, 
and I think if you guys hiked into it, you would also agree. So if you're looking for a good hike to do in the North Idaho Selkirk Mountains, definitely add this one to your list. I'll be throwing the elevation and the mileage and all the stats in here at the end of the video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. We will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Alright, so we just got back to the car and I have a parking violation on my car. I just put it back where it was. <sighs> really strange. This is what it says. You are illegally la, la, la. You are illegally or improperly parked for one or more of the following reasons and are subject to being towed or booted at your expense. And under the other box it's checked and it says, Hope you had an awesome trip exclamation point exclamation point has all my car info issued by officer naughty <laughs> I have no idea this is the weirdest thing check this out I think I'm good